It's coming. Graphical improvements, quality, tethering, hosting, all of the improvements that were dropped on Xbox Series X, which up until now has been hinted at coming to PS5 at some point in time, has finally been confirmed by the dev team with a nod that it might not be exactly the same. You're right kids, it's Ross Clark. And the developers have been very coy about the PS5 enhancements, to the point that a lot of us are starting to doubt if we were ever going to receive this. But it's been confirmed, it's definitely coming. Before we begin, don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, share around and let's get into it. So for those of you that don't know what the enhancement features are, Wildcard released a trailer detailing every little bit about it. And there's a big list of improvements. 4K resolution output at between 30 to 60 frames per second. Now we know the frames per second already on Arc on PS5 is pretty good looking. It's a vast improvement over PS4 and I did a video on this recently. But now it's to include 4K resolution. Draw and streaming distances which details how far away from you certain structures or parts of the map are popping in. The sky and the atmosphere is going to get an improved quality, looking even more super defined as well as the floor, the grass, the bushes, everything. All the textures are ramping up and things such as lighting and shadows will have an improved dynamic quality to them. HDR output is getting a bump and of course a big thing and a reason why I'm doing this video is tether. A lot of you have been sending me messages asking about Tether. Is Tether going to be removed? For those of you that don't know, Tether is what binds players together. So on non-dedicated or split screen, when somebody goes to one end of the map, they'll pull the other player towards them by an invisible force. And now that will be gone. No more Tether. You can now play on your non-dedicated or split screen games without the worry of pulling someone on an invisible rope. And a pretty cool feature, 100 player dedicated server hosting. That's pretty up there. Of course, it requires the outlay of a separate PS5 or Xbox machine to run the hosting through. But the cost versus renting a Nitrado server, for instance, could make it a viable option for hosting in future. Of course, if you're only hosting one map, having nine Xboxes or PS5s all running at the same time, running their individual maps, sounds a bit overkill. And that's the rundown on the enhancement features. So what have the devs said? Well, in my recent video, Jat, the senior product manager of Wildcard, personally replied to me, explaining that the technical improvements will be coming to PS5, with them targeting arrival next month in December. And then goes on to explain that the improvements are similar to the ones on Xbox, minus a few differences. So there's two things to take away from that. One, it should be next month, but it's targeted. So it's not definitely confirmed for next month. However, it's on the way and I'm sure the technical team will do what they can to push it to next month. But the big illusion, a few differences. What are those? Reading this, because Jat said minus, it sounds like PS5 may get a few less offerings than the Xbox has. And perhaps that's why the developers are being so coy. That perhaps they're trying their hardest to make it as like for like as possible, as they said back in their extra live stream a few weekends ago, but have now come to the realization that they perhaps can't do everything that they hoped they could do for the PS5. What exactly those differences are, we'll have to wait and see. And fingers crossed, we find out next month. What do you think, guys? Do you think PS5 is an afterthought? I'm not going to get into the hardware differences between a PS5 and an Xbox, but we know there are a few performance differences between the two consoles, so I'm not surprised that perhaps PS5 isn't going to get the same offering. But we know PS5 can do things better in one area than the Xbox can, and vice versa. So is PS5 going to be offered things that the Xbox probably didn't get? There's a wonder. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.